In today's video, I am making my fiance her new favorite dish. It is a lobster pasta and that shit is smacking. Let's go. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of More Seasoning. I am your host Farnham and I am engaged. I'm engaged to who? To you. We are engaged guys. Seriously, happy new year. Uh, we ended 2021 off with getting engaged. As you can see, we are getting married. <laughs> She's very shy right now. You know, I'm not. <laughs> I just like it. I love hearing you talk about it. He's just like so proud when he talks about of it. He course. like loves to show the ring. He's like, show the ring, show the ring, show, show the, the ring. ring. Yes, <laughs> that's a lot of hard work right there. That's a lot of seasoning in there. But um, oh, that's cute. yeah, that was cute. But we uh, we are engaged, guys. And what better way to start the new year off with making my fiance? That sounds crazy. Her favorite pasta. It's lobster. It's got white wine, butter, lemon. You love it, correct? It's, it's I, I, my mom laughed because she's like, you say that every single time, but it's the best pasta I've ever had in my life. And it's literally, I watched to make it. It's so easy. I can make it in like 20 minutes. And it is so full of flavor, but it's not too heavy. Oh, oh it's so delicious. It's amazing. Before we get into that though, Hey, we're engaged. I made sure I got some footage of it. You guys invest in me, invest in us. I wanna sew back into you and let you be a part of that moment. So we're just gonna play some footage of our engagement and hopefully you enjoy. Oh, I didn't know you're gonna do that. It's cute. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna get my hair cut right now. Tomorrow I'm going to propose to the love of my life and I wanna look good. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so nervous. I got so much running around to do to make it meaningful and romantic. And um, here we go. Hi, guys. Okay, so today was like the last day of work before Christmas. It is a Thursday. It's like 4.45 right now. Jordan planned something tonight that's a surprise, okay? He told me like four days ago. He's like, I have something for you on Thursday night. Be ready by 5 o'clock. It's a surprise. And I'm like, what? He just told me what it was like two hours ago. And he goes, I am freaking out. I feel like I have electricity running through my body right now. It's going down in an hour and 15 minutes. So I'm nervous. I don't think Jacqueline really has any idea. I told her we were going to this restaurant that hasn't opened yet. And I got like premier access or whatever. So she's excited. So hopefully she's not too disappointed that we're not going there, but. There's a restaurant that's opening here in Tampa that I have been following them on Instagram for like six months because I can't wait for them to open and they open in the spring. And somehow Jordan pulled some strings and got just me and him in tonight. God, I love him. When him and I first started dating, all of his friends called him a robot because like he refused to like fall in love and he was just like jaded and he's been through some shit in his past, right? And now he is so mushy and he's so romantic. It goes to show if you're with a man and he just like doesn't do those things for you, it's interesting. Because if you guys break up, you'll end up seeing his ass on Facebook doing those things for other women. It's about the person that you find. When you find the right one and you fall in love, I'm telling you, it changes a person and it changes a man. Jordan's just like this little ball of romantic mush now. And I wouldn't have it any other way. So I'm so excited. I'm going to take you guys with me. I can't believe that I'm going to this restaurant tonight. Okay, so I am waiting for my camera guy right now. And I am so nervous. Like, I feel like I haven't gone to the bathroom in 12 months. My stomach is just up and down. Let's go set this thing up. It's about the person that you find. When you find the right one and you fall in love, I'm telling you, it changes a person and it changes a man. I just want you to know that I'm here by your side forever. <laughs> we will overcome anything and everything together. And I love you with all my heart, baby. So I humbly stand here on one knee and ask you, will you marry me? Oh my god. Oh my god, am I dreaming? Yes, a million times, yes. In every lifetime, yes. Oh my god. I love you so much. I have to say one more thing real quick. I don't know if you noticed, but this is the place where you got off the golf cart that night and you walked over here and you sat on yeah, those rocks. Yeah, I know. And I we talked about cart, space. And I sat on that golf cart and I said, if I am going to let her know that I like her, I need to get up and I need to go over there and make a move. And now, I'm making a move and letting you know. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm gonna be a bride! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Does my family know? Of course they, they know. know! Oh my god! I love you. Look at me. 
I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I want to make you a mother. I want to have a family. I want to grow old with you. I want to fight. I want to love. I want to travel. I want to eat good food and cook for you and do all the things. We're engaged. What do you think? Oh my god! I don't even know. <laughs> And there you guys have it. I'm engaged. I get to cook for her for the rest of my life and I could not be more happy about it. Hey, before we get into her favorite pasta recipe, make sure you guys scroll down, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let me know in the comments section what your New Year's resolution is. Appreciate you guys. Let's show the B-roll. It's time to go. All right, so you guys are gonna be happy to know that even though this is an amazingly flavorful pasta and it's gonna seem rich and decadent, the ingredient list, there's only 10 of them, and they are. Two lobster tails, shallot, lemon, garlic, a red chili pepper, Italian parsley, unsalted butter, fresh pasta. This one is in the refrigerated section at your grocery store. I'm telling you, do this, it's amazing. White wine, I'm using Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah. And lastly, some olive oil. I ran out, so I'm using avocado. Let's go. So right here, we have two lobster tails, and we're gonna put this in our pasta, so let's cut them up. Take your shears, you're gonna cut straight down the top of the lobster, cut straight down the bottom of the lobster, then you're gonna put your finger in between the meat and the shell to release it. After you've got your meat out, we're gonna run it under some water, clean it off, and we're gonna throw it on a paper towel, and then you're just gonna do two cuts down the length of the lobster and cut it into small cubes. Scoop it up into a bowl, a little bit of salt and pepper. All right, next, we're gonna cut up one shallot. All you're gonna do is chop the top off, run your knife around the sides, peel that shell off. We're gonna do a couple of vertical, then some opposing cuts, hit it with a fine chop, scoop it up into the bowl. This ain't no joke, this shit is like gross. All right, my eyes are watering, but we're gonna keep pushing. Next, we got one chili pepper. Depending on how much you like heat, the more you add, the more spicy it'll be. Jacqueline doesn't like a lot, so I just do a couple little slices and throw it in with the shallots. All right, next, we've got our garlic. We're gonna cut the butt off, peel that shell off, and then we're just gonna do thin slices all the way down. Scoop it up into the bowl. Next, we got our Italian parsley. All you're gonna do is take a little handful, twist it off, we're gonna roll it up as tight as we can, and we're just gonna run our knife through that a few times, fine chop, scoop it up, into the bowl. All right, the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut up half a stick of unsalted butter into little cubes, put them in a bowl, and then into the fridge. All right, so the last thing we gotta do, cut a lemon in half. That's it, our prep work is done. Take all your fresh ingredients, we're gonna slide over to the stove, flip the cameras around, we're gonna whip this pasta. Let's go. All right, so here we are over at the stove, and this is what your setup is gonna look like. All right, so over here, we've got all our fresh ingredients, our white wine, olive oil, that lemon. Next to that, we've got a large saute pan. Next to that, I've got a medium sauce pot filled with water. And next to that, I've got my pasta. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, salt our water like the ocean. We want this nice and salty. Then we're gonna kick our heat up, put a lid on and let this thing come to a boil. All right, so let's get your large saute pan on a medium heat, and let's get a, hey yo, a quarter stick of butter in there, and then on top of that, we're gonna do a couple tablespoons of our oil. All right, we're still on a medium heat, and in goes our shallots and our chilies. And basically, we're just gonna lightly saute these shallots until they become translucent, a little bit browned. It's gonna take about three to four minutes. All right, it's been about four minutes. We are gonna throw in our garlic and we are gonna cook this until it's fragrant. It should take about 45 seconds to one minute. Let's go ahead and mix that in. We do not want this garlic to burn, so just cook it until you can smell it. All right, it's been about one minute and we're gonna go ahead and add about half a cup of our white wine. We're just gonna turn this down to a simmer. Right after we put that white wine in, we're gonna go ahead and squeeze half our lemon. We're gonna let this simmer for about one to two minutes, just continuously mixing. All right, it's been about one minute. We've had this on a simmer. Next, we're gonna add in our lobster, and we're gonna give that a mix. As that lobster starts to turn white, I'm just gonna add another little shot of oil, give that a mix. All right, our lobster's basically almost done. All we have to do is put our butter in. Before we do that, pasta into the bowl. Now this fresh pasta, what I love about it is it's only gonna take about three minutes to cook. So as soon as it goes in, we're just gonna break it up. Set that timer for about three minutes. All right, we got our pasta in the water. 
Now we're just gonna add that cold butter that's been sitting in the fridge. We're gonna add close to half a stick. Now we're gonna throw in a couple pinches of that fresh parsley, not too much, I'm not a big fan. And then what we do with this butter is we don't mix it, but we're just gonna swirl it around. And that's gonna help bring that sauce together. So we're just gonna put it down, let it come back to a nice little simmer. We'll see that start to bubble again. Here it comes, perfect. And then we just swirl it around, just like that. And that's gonna turn into a nice, beautiful sauce. All right, so before we add our pasta in there with a little bit of that pasta water, you always wanna taste it. Let's go for it. I'll be real. You use a little bit more lemon and a little bit more salt. So that's what we're gonna do. A little bit of cracked black pepper just to finish it off. Give it another swirl. We're gonna grab our pasta, let it drain just a little bit, but we don't mind because we want some of that pasta water. Grab a little bit more. Right in there. Just swirl it around and then we're gonna toss it. So two hands and then we're just gonna lean it forward and then we're just gonna toss that pasta. At this point, our pasta is done. All we have to do is plate it and enjoy it. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my fiance and this is her new favorite pasta. Baby, go ahead, get that sauce from the bottom, mix it up, it's nice and hot for you still. This smells so good, you guys. It's like torture how good it smells. Oh, I'm not kidding. It's so fing good. It's like stupid. It's stupid. <laughs> use the whole, honestly, use the whole lemon. I did a whole squeeze of lemon afterwards in the B roll. I did a little bit more lemon. Oh my <laughs> God, it's dumb. You know what I love about it? How fresh it is. It's the like, yes. The sauce is like so silky. It's like oh, velvet. Yes. It's so good. It's not even buttery. It's just like, yes, but it's, it's like we, air. It's because we swirled the butter around so it came together. <laughs> Pasta makes me love you even more. <laughs> this is our engagement pasta, ladies and gentlemen. That is just, between me and you, I'm dead serious. You're gonna think I'm bullshitting. I swear to God, this is better than Roca. Tampa Bay Area restaurants, lock it up. Follow my recipes. Put them on your menu. Just give me a percent, that's all I want. I will be honest. <laughs> As someone who loves pasta so much, I, I really don't discriminate. I love all pasta, no matter what it is. If it's heavy, if it's Alfredo, if it's red sauce, pink sauce, vodka sauce, if it's, if it's seafood, whatever it is, I love pasta. This is probably the best pasta I've ever had in my entire life. It is so silky, it's so buttery. It's like the perfect amount mm. of lemony, a little garlic in it. It's got like a, not even a kick, but almost a little kick from the pepper, but not like spicy. Just a mm. bite, like a mmm. And then the texture of the lobster, and it's not fishy, you know what I'm saying? It's not like you're eating like fishy pasta. It's so light and just yummy and delicious. And when he made this, a couple of weeks ago, mm. we ate the entire bowl, and afterwards, I did not feel like heavy, like I typically do. Baby, let's get that star scale. On a scale of one to five stars, what is your favorite lobster pasta? <laughs> <laughs> On a scale of one to five, obviously it's a five, I wish I could give it more. Yeah. This is probably one of the best things I think you've ever made. That's... Ever. That's big, because I've made a Ever. lot of recipes here on More Seasons. Ever. So. This is just like stupid good. This tastes like you are at a five-star gourmet restaurant. Like this is like a $20 pasta. More than that. This yeah. is, yes, Cheesecake Factory has pastas for $20. Well, it's got lobster This is it, like, so. yeah. yes, I would pay so much money for this. I would get dressed up and go out on date night, make a reservation just to have this pasta. If that doesn't say it, I don't know what will. Just so you guys know to make this the same way I did, again, I did an extra squeeze of lemon at the end, some parsley, a little bit of lemon zest, and uh, that's it. Just make sure you get that sauce at the bottom. I love you, why don't you go finish that pasta up? Okay. Mm, my fiance, yeah. enjoy. Oh. Sometimes that gets me a little dizzy. Anyway, there you have it. What did I rate it? I gave it a five star because it truly is amazing. It's silky, it's velvety, it's got so much flavor, but it's so light at the same time. It's literally the perfect pasta. If you don't wanna do lobster, don't do lobster. Throw some shrimp in there. You can maybe do some chicken. Obviously the cook time will be a little different, but hey, I appreciate y'all watching. If you made it this far, 
It means you like the content. Make sure you scroll down, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let me know in the comment section if this is a pasta that you will be making in the future. I appreciate y'all. I love you guys. I'm engaged. I'm getting married. We're engaged, she's getting lobster pasta for the rest of her life. I love y'all, my name is Farnham, this is More Seasoning, and we are out. Until next time, appreciate y'all, love y'all, we out.